Welcome, Star Kids and friends. Today's passage is Mark chapter 14, verses 1 to 11. The previous passage was filled with prophecy of events that are still to come, even for us. It talks about extreme hardships and persecutions in the last days, but it concluded with a triumphant return of Jesus Christ in the clouds with power and glory. Christians are implored to be on guard and alert and to watch for Jesus' return. We should be doing that too. Today's passage, the chief priests and teachers of the law plot to kill Jesus. Although they hated Jesus, there were others that loved him dearly. So before we read today's passage from the Bible, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just, uh, we thank you for your word and we thank you that it, you gave it for us to learn more about you and who you are. We pray that today, as we read it, that we would choose to love you more and to know you better. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, read along with me in chapter 14, verse 1. Now the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread were only two days away, and the chief priests and the teachers of the law were scheming to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or the people may riot. While he was in Bethany, reclining at the table in the home of Simeon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Some of those present were saying indignantly to one another, why this waste of perfume? It could have been sold for more than a year's wages and the money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. Leave her alone, said Jesus. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, and you can help them any time you want, but you will not always have me. She did what she could. She perfu poured perfume on my body beforehand to prepare for my burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went to the chief priest to betray Jesus to them. They were delighted to hear this and promised to give him money. So he watched for an opportunity to hand him over. But well, what is the Bible saying to you in, today in that passage? Take some time to think about it, maybe read it over again, and then write down what you are learning in your journal. And don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else. 